Charlotte FC have acquired Venezuelan winger Darwin Machis from Granada of La Liga, and he will be the club's second designated player. So in this video, I'm going to go over the new signing, how much he is coming to Charlotte FC for, and what to expect from him in the future. Here we go. So Machis is a 20-year-old Venezuelan, and he is uh, being transferred from the La Liga club Granada. And he does normally play on the left side as a winger. And as of late, he has been a big part of the Venezuelan national team, even scoring for them against Bolivia. And if the reports are to be believed, uh, Charles FC will be paying around five million U.S. dollars for him, which is the same amount that they are paying for Carol Schwierski. And according to transfer market, this is a bargain because they have him valued at eight point two five million U.S. dollars. So Machis started his professional career in his home country uh, of Venezuela with the club Mineros de uh, Guayana in 2011 where he played two seasons with them. After that he moved uh, in 2012 to, the, to Granada's B squad where he had 49 appearances with 17 goals. Also, it was around that time where he assimilated into their first squad. From 2012 to 2018, he had 40 league appearances with 14 goals. However, during that time, he had also a bunch of loans, including loans to teams in the Segunda and just uh, lower leagues in Spain. After uh, the 2018 season, though, he got uh, he got transferred to, to uh, Udinese in Serie A, where he had 13 league appearances, however, with no goals and in 2019 he was sent on loan to Cadiz and in 2019 he, he ended up back in Granada and since then from uh, 2019 to uh, present day he has had 83 league appearances with 14 goals and so far this season for Machis uh, in the 2021 to 2022 season he has had 15 appearances with 12 starts and he has also had two goals. So as of late, Darwin Machis has been a huge player for the Venezuelan national team. He made his senior team debut in 2011. However, it has been in these uh, 2022 Carnival World Cup qualifiers where he has stepped up. Uh, in these Carnival World Cup qualifiers, he has had 11 starts, 11 appearances, and he has scored in each of the last three international match windows. He scored on the 10th of October against Ecuador, the 16th the 16th of November against Peru and he also scored in a 4-1 win away I mean at home against Bolivia in this last international window that was a huge match so uh he is definitely a huge player for the Venezuelan national team overall he has 33 appearances with nine goals as far as his strengths goes, Machis is a player that is very quick on the ball. He has a lot of speed, a lot of pace, and he can really help Charlotte FC facilitate a possible end-to-end -end playing style of being able to clear the ball out of the box, bring it up the left wing, which is where he does play primarily. And then he also is very good at crossing. He'd be able to cross the ball into the box to players like Karol Schwierski. And uh, one player that he reminds me of, I have seen, seen him in the past before, is uh, Luca Della Torre with the United States men's, uh, national team. Recently, I saw their World Cup qualifier against Honduras, and uh, many of fans might have taken note of De La Torre and how he, he was able to uh, get the ball out of the defensive half and really just bring it up to the attacking half, and that's really how uh, the U.S. men's national team were so dangerous in that game. And Darwin Machis is a very similar player, if not probably better, and I could definitely see him doing the same uh, with Charlotte FC. And also, another... Uh, a very interesting strength that he does have in his playing style is his ability to counter press, counter attack uh, on the defense. And that's really uh, what jump starts his ability to be very quick on the ball and get uh, up to the attacking half. So in the future uh, for Charlotte FC, I could definitely see situations where we'll have Machis crossing the ball into Karoshwerski or Christian Ortiz, and then they'll end up fishing on that end. Also, uh, Machis is a player that can be scored when called upon. He has scored against Atletico Madrid uh, this season in La Liga, and in the past with Granada, he has also scored with Barcelona and Real Madrid. And some of the goals that he has scored uh, with Granada are just flat out amazing uh, goals outside the 18-yard box, and I'm very excited to see if you'll get more of that with Charlotte. FC. So, as a Charlotte FC fan, I am pleasantly surprised that Machis will be heading to Charlotte, and that is because he's 
from what I've seen from him is that he is one of the most promising attackers in La Liga, and he's definitely stepped up in big games for Granada. And just your reaction from Granada fans over this transfer is that they are disappointed because they believe that he had a lot of potential and he is a player that is hitting his prime, so he could morph into even a bigger role with Granada. But at the end of the day, I think it just comes down to playing time. With Granada, he was only starting at around 50% or so of the matches. And uh, while he was bringing on, brought on as subs at times, it just wasn't enough for Machis because it was Machis that was pulling for a move outside Granada. And that is a bit disappointing for Granada because he was probably, uh, according to Transfer Market, the third most expensive player on their roster. Transfer adds to the latest trend of players from the top five European leagues moving to MLS in their prime. We've seen that with Lorenzo Insigne uh, from Napoli to Toronto FC. We saw that uh, with a uh, recent deal that is rumored to be very close to being uh, done to, with Shakiri moving to the Chicago Fire. That'd be amazing once that goes through. And now we have Machis going to Charlotte FC. So it is very interesting. Uh, MLS's role within the world football game is definitely changing and this transfer just adds to that in my opinion. I wondered for a while why a player like Darwin Machis, a uh, player who is in his prime and has done rather well in La Liga of Granada, why would he want to make the move to MLS? Uh, which is definitely, uh, without a doubt, a, a lower league than La Liga in terms of level of play, level of competition. Why he, would he want to make the move to Charlotte FC? And I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to stability and just playing time. And he wants to become a prominent player at a club for a good four or five years uh, instead of just constantly moving around. Because over the past few years, yes, he has featured a lot for Granada, but he's also been sent on a bunch of loans to other uh, clubs throughout Spain and throughout Europe. He's also been sent to Udinese for a year, but that didn't work uh, out, so he went back to Granada. So there has been a lot of stability within uh, Darwin Machis' career. However, with a move to Charlotte FC, uh, what I've seen from him is that he can compete against teams in La Liga. So if he can compete against those teams, he could definitely flourish against teams in MLS. And on top of that, he'll get more playing time. He was only starting about 50% of the games of Granada. But with Charlotte FC, he'll start almost 100% of them as long as he's not injured and as long as his playing uh, level doesn't fall off. And I'm not at all concerned about that with his uh, pretty decent performances in La Liga. So uh, with Charlotte FC, I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to, uh, like I said, stability and playing time. And also, it, it ties into the same reasons that Lorenzo Insigne uh, came to MLS. There's a very high standard of living, and it is, it is a place where you can really uh, lay down your roots and just build a solid fa uh, foundation for the rest of your career and potentially the rest of your life. And Charlotte is definitely a good place for that. Now, will this be his last club? Uh, time time will tell w whether or not he'll end up being the, a hometown hero the same sort of way that Joseph Martinez is. It is a bit interesting considering Joseph Martinez is Venezuelan and now we have a uh, Venezuelan and Darwin Machis. So I am definitely very interested, but I'm sure that uh, this move at the end of the day is just coming down to he wants to be a part, a part of a club for a very long time. And uh, Charlotte FC is definitely a new, exciting expansion project, uh, an expansion franchise within MLS. He'll definitely be a very prominent figure here in the city of Charlotte, should he uh, post up very good numbers for the club. I'm going to leave on the notes that Charlotte FC fans need to be very excited about Darlin Machis because he's a player with maybe even a little bit more development. Uh, he probably would be able to compete against teams like Barcelona, La Liga, and Atletico Madrid on a week-in and week-out basis. And I'm very excited to see what he'll be able to do with Charlotte FC. He'll definitely get a lot of playing time, which is probably what he wanted. He wasn't getting enough of that with Granada. And he's a player that is very quick on the ball, has a lot of speed, a lot of pace, and he could definitely help... Uh, uh, with Miguel Angel Ramirez's style of play, a very vibrant attack. I'm sure that his style of football is going to make a, uh, Charlotte FC's style of play very fun to watch, and I can see a lot of situations where Darwin Machis will be crossing the ball into players like Schroederski, Ortiz, uh, Vinicius Melo. It'll definitely be interesting to see how he fits into Charlotte FC's squad going forward, but I'm going to say that uh, Machis is definitely the biggest signing to date for Charlotte FC.